I once asked a mentor why my life was never changing and he gave it to me really blunt when he said, Alex, you're doing the same shit every year and you're calling it a different year. And that really struck me. I mean, yeah, it's a slap in the face, but how many of us do that? We say that we're gonna change our life. We say that it's gonna be our year. But when you look back objectively, like at the real performance indicators, you're the same weight, same friend group, same career, same income. You didn't start that business. You didn't write that book. You didn't travel more. And what gives? In my opinion, it comes down to a few simple things we are discussing here in this video today. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master Zide. Let's jump in. So how do you change your life in a big way? That's ultimately what we're talking about here. How does your life actually change? You can believe in manifestation, but sitting here doesn't manifest a hot 10 out of 10 girl, right? You can believe about manifestation, but it doesn't actually put any more money in my bank. I don't have an extra thousand dollars for that trip to Europe. How does your life change? It's something that I call the drunken staircase analogy. I like to think of life improvement as like when you're coming home drunk from the bar and you get to wherever you live and if there's a staircase, you might be trying to shine your iPhone flashlight to try to find that first step so you don't eat it. And as you're shining the light and you're trying to get into your home or your apartment, you just are trying to get that first step so that you don't fall on your face. And then when you get to that first step, you find the railing and you're trying to find the next step. And then when you find the next step, you try to find the third step. And as long as you can get the prior step, you can't see the next step until you're on the prior step. So to get to step three, you have to be on step two. And to get to step four, you have to be on step three. And you can't even see the steps way above you unless you're shining the light way up the staircase. So for so many of us, we think that we have to know the entire staircase, the entire journey before we even do the first step. And we try to plan or even do step seven when we're really at step one. You know, when I think back to a lot of the goals that I've worked on, and if you guys haven't, check out the recent video I shot on the five steps to your dream life, because I talked about how in a relatively short period of time, you know, I published multiple self-published books that have sold a lot of copies, built two six-figure businesses, became a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine. I have a private practice in LA. I've traveled to 60 countries on the earth. I became a bachata dancer. I've gone all over the world dancing. All of these things were like little 25 year old Alex would say, there's not a chance in hell you would have done any of those. So how did they actually happen if I never have could have visualized that? Because of this progression principle. You know, it's like you start by shooting, let's say a YouTube video. You start by getting in the gym and there's a lot of doubt and a lot of fear. And the very first roadblock that comes up, you're like, I'm out. It's for sure not gonna work. There's no way this is gonna work. You go into the gym, you get, you feel judged or someone stares at you. You try to build a business, everything you try fails, which is par for the course. But you think there's something really wrong and you think it's just not gonna work. But as you get one little win, then you try to get a bigger win. You know, one YouTube video performs well and you try to get another. Or you start to lose five pounds and then you can get to 10. You write a blog article and after a couple years, you're like, you know what? I could probably do a book. And as you progress, you take on bigger and bigger challenges and bigger and bigger goals. Eventually, if you keep doing that every year or every quarter is bigger and better you look back in 10 years and you've grown to an absurd degree that you didn't even plan but because growth was your goal it happened naturally but what drives that growth to me it's one thing hunger you know tony robbins has a great article on the one commonality among all of his highest clientele that he's had people with hundreds of millions in their in terms of their net worth and he said you know what the one commonality was because all of the strategies are different they're different people different times different opportunities different setbacks but he said the number one thing in common is hunger because the strategies, the people, the timing, the marketplace changes. But the one thing that dictates success is hunger. The desire to figure it out is the one commonality between all of those high level clients that he had. Because you cannot guarantee the path is going to be the same for everyone because it never is. But if your burning desire for a better life is there, you're going to find whatever strategy works. You know, going from never having written a book to having written a few and my next one's going to be traditionally published with an agent, that takes the desire to figure it out. I didn't believe that I could until I could. Going from living in a small town in Connecticut to living in the best part of Los Angeles, I didn't think that I would do that. But as I grew, I decided to move. And then when I moved in a slightly less desirable part of LA, now I moved to a much better part of LA. That hunger to improve and just figure out the next step is what led to that happening. Now, the third way to 10X your life is to understand that every level has a new mindset and new rituals associated with it. For example, going from, let's say, running at your local high school, being a fast sprinter, to now being an Olympian is a totally different ball game in terms of the number of hours to train, who to find as a coach, having a coach that's really on your team, maybe bringing on trainers, doctors, functional docs, nutritionists. The number of hours is probably the single best one. The biggest thing may be going from an hour a day or two hours of training to four, five, six hours a day 
of training. That's going from pretty good in high school or college to best in the world. So you may have the belief of, okay, I just need to run and train every day. That'll get you to a good level. But to become the best in the world, an Olympian requires a totally different mindset and different habits that match that mindset. Let's say you're going from writing in your journal every day to now being a professional writer. That's a different mindset. I'm going to be a professional writer and I'm going to have the discipline to write, let's say a thousand or 2000 words a day, every single day, seven days a week. I'm going to write more hours per day. I'm going to study the best writers. I'm going to study the craft of writing. I'm going to have to find an agent. I'm going to have to learn how to market and sell my book with my agent. So as you can see, I'm just going to write my journal is different from professional writer. The title, the intention, the vision, all different, but those things don't make you a professional writer. The action ultimately does at the end of the day. So the 10 your life, it is one part your beliefs and your vision and one part your daily habits that have to be very different. A little mom and pop ice cream shop is totally different from Jeff Bezos, billionaire, trillionaire, who knows at this point, but what's crazy, they can work the same hours in a day. The little mom and pop ice cream shop or taco truck can often and regularly do work as many hours as a billionaire or trillion dollar company which is staggering when you think about it. So they have a different vision and different rituals that lead them to that place. Now, I'm working on opening this brand new coaching program for a year. Every year, I take on only two to three people. We work one-to-one -to -one together on a call every other week. And we go through a three to 12 month curriculum on how to 10X your life or start and launch or 10X your current business. Each call, we have a curriculum. I have a strategy for you and then I'll coach you through my process for how I did this in my own life. We'll work together through this sort of 12 month curriculum on the vision, strategy, purpose, goals, exactly what to do. And we'll work through it one-on-one. -on -one. Now I'm only accepting two to three people for every year, which is what I've done for the last few years. So click to apply down below. You'll see a link to a video and an application form if that appeals to you. This is not your everyday coaching program. It is a premium coaching program. So if that resonates and connects, I'd love to work with you. And then before you guys go, I have another video here on how to design your dream life.